Today we're opening an entire blister booster box of some of the best blisters of all time. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening a blister booster box of 20 of the best sets of all time. Some of them are good, some of them are amazing, and there's a couple duds in here. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Karibo original print, we have Machine King, and we have a Fiber Jar original print. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite blister of all time. Doesn't have to be in this video if you have another one that you really like. This is gonna be a lot of fun because blisters tend to have you know some pretty crazy ratios they either are terrible they're awesome you know maybe we'll pull a 10k dragon in this we could pull a ghost or a stardust because we do have that stardust not an overdrive the duelist genesis there we go the word stardust is in a different set and the one with stardust does not have it which is always kind of weird so let's start off with battles of legend armageddon we opened tons and tons of this set when it first came out we tried to pull that 10k dragon and we succeeded so let's see if we can do it again i think it's at the very front because it's not a euro pack i assume it's not a euro pack i don't know we have a Goyo Defender. Very cool. Cool start. Plants for reuse. Secure Garden. <laughs> there it is. This is the card I needed for so long. This is actually nice because I probably need more than one of them. So I'll pull that out and set it in my personal pile there. Appliancers. Very cool. And Dark Armed, Dark Armed, the Dragon of Annihilation. This is a good secret rare as well. Also, I want to remind you guys, since I haven't done it in a while, check out the TCG Player and eBay affiliate links down below. If you guys buy anything on TCG Player or eBay, you click those links, you go buy on there, and then guess what? It supports my channel, and it costs you nothing extra, so it's a win-win for both of us. Just want to remind you guys about that if you guys are buying on those platforms. Let's get into Legendary Duelist Raids for All. I think we have a potential to pull Starlights in here, Ultimates, Ghost Rares, Secret Rares, basically everything in this opening. So let's hopefully pull something like that. Ra's Disciple, Mechlord Emperor Wiesel, and Everlasting Alloy. So we are starting off with a dud okay it's only the second pack it's the second pack we did okay on the first one got a secure gardener not the most expensive card ever but you need it for a lot of decks let's go into the next one we have a left arm offering also this friday guys that's one year straight of uploads i'm doing something pretty huge i'm not gonna tell you what it is so friday it's gonna be a special we've got a mechlord army and a wild monster appears something that we have never opened on the channel let me know in the comments what you think we have never opened on the channel. You know, try and guess what it is that's coming up on Friday. So here we go. Photon Shockwave. I think you're thing, thing, thing? I think you're seeing this Wednesday, uh, and it's coming out Friday. So two days from now. Let's go into Photon Shockwave. This is first edition. This could have a Ghost Rare Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I still don't own one because that guy backed out of me. <laughs> I've said this every time because I'm still a little slightly salty because I don't have... Actually, do I have one? Maybe I did get one. I don't know. Uh, Evo Miracle, Ray Rider. It might have been Light Play. Photon Lead. We got the uh, Gephro, uh, Vylon Ohm, Zen March, a Rabbit Dragon. Copy Nightweight. I think there's both in here. Oh, and a Black Ray Lancer Super Rare. We did the card trick perfectly. If we went one more, we would have accidentally revealed the Super Rare. Black Ray Lancer. That is a, a rank three. Very cool. You love to see it. Doing okay on this opening so far. Next up, we have another. Battles of Legend, not brothers, you know, now it's brothers these days, but it's Battles of Legend back then. Back in back in my day, we had Brothers of Legend, and the cha or Battles of Legend, I should say, I'm losing it, I can't remember anything in my old age, okay. Let's let's stop with the old man, and oh, Artifact Sanctum, getting a lot of good meta cards, these are very warped though, like, oh my goodness, I forgot that was in there, that's very cool, Chaos Neos, Invoked Purgatrio, love to see it, the Invoked, baby, Appliance or Dryer Drake, and a number C92 Hard Earth Chaos Dragon. There's so many cards that I've come to love since we opened a ton of the set that I didn't realize were in here because back then I didn't care about the meta, and now I do. Next up, we got ourselves a King's Core. This is a pretty cool assorted blister booster box, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good sets from recent memory. Also, a few from older as well. So let me know what you think about the assortment in the comments. King's Court. Can we pull Lightning Storm? Can we pull a uh, god card can we pull a collector rare anything i mean we've had terrible luck with collector rares recently let's redeem ourselves we got a reinforcement ties of the brethren wicked avatar number c 39 utopia ray and rivalry of the war world the warlords very good Arcana Knight joker and a number 49 fortune tune yeah that's not the best card ever still a lot to go we have Burst of Destiny. I actually found these at my local Walmart. There was like four of them left. And I was like, I am getting these. If there's a DP in, DPE in here and I didn't pick it up, I would never forgive myself. Also, we never pulled Starlight Stratos. I'd be down for that. Here we go. Do you think Starlight Stratos or Ulti Stratos is high rarity? Let me know in the comments because I want to know your opinion. I have Ulti Stratos. I don't have Starlight Stratos. Here we go. Cute pitch. But Starlight is more. So, I mean, is it the price? You know, what is it? Sword Soul, Danger, Disturbance. There's the Nessie over there. Flow and Reason Token, uh, Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, 
Cyanet Crosswipe, Bayonet Punisher, and Royal Penguins Guard. Okay, so first one's a dub. We got three more chances in there. Let's go back into the Rage of Raw. We have one more of these in this opening. Let's see if we can get that Gosher out of only two blisters, four packs. I almost said three packs, which is wrong, like completely, because it could have sent two blisters, could have said four packs. Quick mess. It was wrong both ways. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I got it that wrong. Here we go. On to the next one. Let's see if we can get uh, something Jinzo, something Ghost Rare, Mechlord Emperor Wyzel reboot. Millennium Revelation. That's cool. These are not guaranteed supers, so that's pretty nice. Super Rare Millennium Revelation. I don't know if it's really worth anything or not, but still very cool to get a ghost. Not a ghost. A reg. A hollow. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a regular rare. Not a ghost. I'm saying everything but what is correct. Okay. Amplifier. We got. There's the Jinzo stuff. Mind control. It will be next. Bum, 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 bum. Next pack, King's Court, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Yep. We totally got what we wanted. That's what we were looking for. On to the King's Court. Please bless us. So far, nothing crazy. We've had a couple of decent pulls, but nothing that's really going to, you know, get us too much money back. We've got the Dowsing Fusion. Give us a collector rare. We are, we owe, what? That, that, we are owed one. That's what I'm trying to say. Pot of Wild. I can't speak. It's Pot of Awesome. You can special someone when you use that for sure. Majestic Dragon, Cloud Castle, and. XC's Hyper Cannon. Okay. All that hype for nothing. So, so far, we've gotten really hyped up and gotten a bunch of... Okay. I can't speak. Photon Shockwave. The struggle is, like, ridiculously real right now. I literally cannot talk. It's crazy. Photon Shockwave. This happens a lot, but it's even worse today. It's even worse today. All right. All right. Last time we got ourselves a foil, and it was three from the back. Let's do this. Ray Ryder. A Corno. One Day of Peace, Space Cyclone, Stinging Swordsman, Luminize, Creepy, Cody, Gishki Beast, and Watt Cancel. I'm canceling my membership to Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm done. I'm done with this. No more Yu-Gi-Oh. This is crazy. Oops, I almost forgot to open one of the best sets we have, which is Rise of the Duelist First Edition. These are, like, expensive. They're, like, $15 packs, and it came out two years ago. Not even two years ago. One and a half years ago. Rise of the Duelist, ROTD. I would love to pull Dogmatica stuff. That would be really, really cool. There's some good Starlights the DD Crow, if you guys remember. There's a lot of great stuff. Just a ton. Like, almost all the cards are good. DD Evil, unless we pull, like, Adam Emancipator Friends, which we probably will, because I just said that. Dark Lord, Linker Bell, Infernoble, Infernoble Knight, Magus, Melfi Finney, Speedroid Block and Roll, and the Astolfo. <sighs> Man, this has been a rough opening so far. Can we get something out of Burst of Death? There's so many potential awesome cards. And so far, we've gotten a bunch of nothing. We got Burst of Destiny. Bless us, please. Bless us with something good. Give us Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Penguin Knight. Laundry Trap. Ice Jade. Rebuild Deer. We got the Kotal. Gunkin Sushi Ship. Night Flight. Oh, an Ultra B Trooper. Absolute Hercules. Okay, it's something. I don't think it's a crazy card, but we actually got an ultra rare. We'll take it. It's something. We finally pulled something. It's been a long time. We got the another disturbance. Woo, this has been uh, interesting. All right, we're going straight back to Rise of the Duelist because this is the only one we have multiples of left. We still have two of this one. We have one of everything else. There's some that I haven't even like seen yet. Obviously, Duelist Genesis. Rise of the Duelist. Come on, give us some good out of here. I'd be really happy if we got like Ecclesia or something. Oh, Punishment, that's a good card as a common. We'll take that. Spiral Fusion, Melfi Pony, the Fright for a Cruel Whale. Punishment was a common. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. That card's really good. Dogmatic Encounter, even though I really don't like it that much. Capricious Dark Lord, Nemesis Keystone, and a Junk Slate. Okay, so we whiffed on that one. We did get a... I guess we got the Punishment. That's cool. One more pack of Brothers of... Bro <laughs> Battles! It's not Brothers. I already talked about this. Uh, why, did, why would you do that? Why would you change it to something so similar? Oh, it's unbelievable. What a, what a weird choice. Okay, we'll do that. That's the 10k dragon. We've got the Chaos Neos, number two. Pliants or test. Dark spell regeneration. Back to burst of destiny. Please. Burst my d I don't know. Okay, danger. Cool. Floundries. Beat Trooper. Heritage. Flip Frozen. Sonic Tracker. Floundries and Token. Floundries and Scary Sea. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's all blackout. Dang it. Okay, we still do have one more in a future video we'll probably open, but uh, we need redemption for those. Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. I bought this for another video, ended up not even needing it, so we're opening in this one. Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. This is like 2017. We're talking throwback here, so let's see if we can pull the Minerva. Oh, 
There, speaking of uh, light swarms, we have a solar recharge. These are not warped. They need to take a page out of this book for Armageddon. Formal Pal, Odd Eyes, Minotaurus. Vless Light Sworn Archer, a lot of Light Sworns, cool. Anti Spell Fragrance, another good card. And Odd Eyes of Venom Dragon. Wait, is this a cover card? I threw the pack. I don't know where it went. It's the cover card. Nice. We'll take that. That's pretty cool. All right, that's not bad. Now we're back to not a back to. This is the first time. Eternity Code. Can we pull Access Code Talker? A card that I have pulled, I think originally, and I sold all of mine. <laughs> yeah, great. I do have one Seeker Rare. That's it. So I would love to have another one because it's in like every deck. So <laughs> that'd be great. We got a Nemesis, Ad Adrastea, Deep Sea Sentry, Beast King Barbaros, Proxy F Magician, Stairs of Mail, Golden Hair, Pyrath. Oh, a secret rare Grave Diggers Trap Hole. Okay, this got a reprint in the Mega 10, but this is a pretty good one. Grave Diggers Trap Hole, Secret Rare. Didn't even really realize this was in the set. That's a good card. We take those. That's the best pull of the video, probably. All right, still four packs left. We got King's Court. Come on, Collector Rare sets. Just, I was trashing them, I think, and I think they heard me, because since then, I've pulled literally nothing. Like, literally, I've pulled nothing. Okay, let's see if that'll turn around right here. Wait. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go like this. I don't know what happens. Eagle Claw, Leo Arms, Gravekeeper, Spy, number C39, Ultimate Shield, and, oh, they're already at the back. Okay, Crystal Girl, super rare. Three more packs. We've got Rise of the Duelist. Can we pull that Starlight guy? I mean, I already have a... Well, no, I actually sold my 10, but I have I have another one. I have another Starlight Rare. Very cool. I was going to say I already have one, but I guess... I mean, we could pull another 10, I guess. All right, uh, well, this is the opening, strangely. Let's go. One, two, three. We've got a Fright for Jar. I didn't even know Fright for his right here. Dogmatica Theo. Indulge Dark Lord. Dark Lord Uprising. Dogmatica Nexus. Give us Dogmatica. For Noble Knight. Dark Lord. Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon. Another punishment. Okay, we got two of those out of four pack or three packs. Can't complain. Two more packs. We have the Duelist Genesis and Photon Shockwave. Let's start off with the Shockwave. Whew. Let's go. I think uh, Duelist Genesis is like the only unlimited one. It's that hard to get first edition. I don't even think they make blisters for first ed. Duelist Genesis because they don't make booster boxes either, which is weird. Come on, Photon. Give us a Ghost Rare. We're asking for it. Now bless us. Here we go. Naturia Marin. Fiery Fervor. Manila. Walk Cobra. No Creepy Coney, please. Ego Boost. Damage Diet. Evil Sword Pelta. This is the moment of truth. This is where we pull that Ghost Rare for redemption. Here we go. Oh, a Secret Rare Shard of Greed. Not a card that really anybody's using unless you're playing Duel Links in 2017 when it first dropped. But uh, yeah, still cool to get a Secret Rare. It's all come down to this. The final pack. The Duelist Genesis. Inside, we could pull the Great Stardust Dragon and uh, apparently Dark Resignator. Resonator, not Resignator. <laughs> He's resigning from being a Resonator. Okay, and then the <laughs> Red Dragon Archfiend. I gotta stop. Uh, this thing is really jacked up, so let's see if we can pull anything. Wow, that was interesting. Okay. Uh, is that sketch or not? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let's see. What do we think? Does this pack look okay? Because it's always possible you could get a resale. You never know. Yeah, it seems pretty normal for the most part, I think. What? Maybe? Uh, I opened kind of normal. Yeah, I think we're probably fine. It was just probably a little loose. Okay. If there's a ghost ray in here, then we know it wasn't resealed. How about that? How about that? That's that's our proof. <laughs> here we go. We have one. Let's just do two, I think, just in case. See, that one's a little warped. I don't know if that's a hollow or it's just being weird. Uh, ghost Garden, we got a space gate. Sometimes they just warp. It doesn't matter if it's hollow or not. Light wave tuning. We got a dark of the dark charmer. He just got his link print. Very cool. Oyster Meister. Needle bug nest. If we get a ghost right here, we lose it. Here we go. Might ever matter. It will be after this. Potentially. Magical Android X. Oh my goodness. I have a story about this card. First of all, troll. Second of all, I need this for my Edison format deck, which I went and bought one on TCG player. Then realized I already had one. Now we pulled one. <laughs> I have three of them now, so I guess if I need three Edison decks, then we're good to go. We've got this thing ready. It's loaded. That is hilarious. I mean, I guess it's sort of needed. Very warped, actually, but this has not a lot of prints. I think it's the only hollow print, so not a bad pull. It's actually worth a few dollars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content, because it will be happening on this channel. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Guard, Stone Flow Show, Tomato G, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Spanky McFarlane, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barding. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.